Okay. On the track with a sway bar adjustment. All right, so let's get some heat in the tires first before we bother doing anything. We are at Toronto Motorsport Park today. I've done a couple laps and I couldn't really comment yet because my tire pressures were all off. It's really hot today. My car is reading 28 degrees Celsius. So I was running over 43, which was a little bit scary. So the sway bar adjustment that I have done is I put the front bar in the second hardest setting, so the middle setting. These are the Hotchkiss sway bars, if I didn't say that already. And the rear bar I put in the tightest setting. So both, on both sides in the rear on the tightest. And so far, I've had nothing but understeer. I've changed every single thing that I could think of in my driving style. Trail braking, lifting off, being really smooth, you know, very balanced throttle. Didn't matter, I'm just understeering. But I think it's probably a little bit because of my tire pressure. So now that I've got that sorted out, let's see if we can do it. By the way, the reason that I'm wearing racing gloves, it's twofold. The first reason is that it gives you five extra horsepower, and that is a fact. The second reason is that it makes me think I look cool. I am running BF Goodrich G-Force Sportcom 2s. Okay, going into the second corner, 140 kilometers an hour, about 120 entry speed. I am getting a lot of understeer. By the way, talking when you're driving on a track, not the easiest thing in the world as I'm finding out. Here, corner one. I do this at third gear. I'm gonna do a lot of trail braking here and see if I can keep some weight over the front. And onto the throttle, very balanced. No, I'm, the front's just washing out. I don't think this is the right sway bar setup for me anyway. Okay, yeah, this sway bar setup is not ideal. It takes a lot of focus to not I've tried slow in, fast out, fast in, slow out, trail braking, lifting off. I'd, I'm just washing the front out here. I've got my tire pressures dialed in too. I don't know what to say. I don't know if I should tighten the front or if I should loosen the front. I'm about to get walked by a Cobra. All right, I'm going on to a cool out lap now. Okay, I just wanna give a quick impromptu update, actually, about uh, the fact that I just changed my sway bar setup again on my way home from the track now. It's nighttime and I'm filming in my car. Uh, I have put the front bar in the tightest setting now and the rear bar in the middle setting, which means one link in tight and one link in soft. And I cannot, that's the reason I'm making a video, I can't believe the difference in the front end. So obviously I haven't track tested it yet, I don't know how it's going to affect the, uh, the cornering balance, but I'm very excited to give this a go because the front end feels so rock solid right now. I can't believe how much of a difference this much space makes on that sway bar but it really, really does. I'd love to see some math on that. I don't actually want to see the math. I'm just saying that. But I think that this is going to be a little bit of a different situation because I talked to a guy at the track after I filmed the previous clip you just watched and he runs full hard in the front and full soft in the rear. And this seems so counterintuitive to what I had always been learned or always learned or always been told about sway bars is you want stiffer in the rear to initiate oversteer to decrease rear end grip. So I am excited to give this a try because this feels awesome. It feels like I have a ton of front end grip going around a corner right now. Look at this. Yeah, oh, it feels so flat. That's awesome. Uh, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if one of those comments is, 
TH, shut up already and just buy some better suspension. Then that's fair too, you can say that. Uh, until then, I will talk to you later. Bye.